Hi, in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can create an AI agent to turn YouTube into blogs. We're going to use Telegram and DeepSeek AI in this tutorial. So before we dive into the NAN workflow, let's do a quick demo first. So for example, we're going to use this video, which is uh, around 14 minutes long, and then we are going to turn it into a blog. So we're going to use the Telegram interface. So let's paste the YouTube link here. And then it's processing, getting the transcript. And after the get, getting a transcript, it's going through Dipsic AI to do the summary and turn the YouTube transcript into a blog. Great. As you can see, this is a well structured, easy to read blog. So, um, and also. The statistics are provided as well. The original length for the video is uh, 40 minutes and 32 seconds, and then the expected reading time of this block is around just five minutes. So time total time saved, it can be nine minutes and 32 seconds. And you can see it's very well structured. And, um, and last but not least, we can see the total course uh, required to generate this blog post. So let's dive into the workflow itself. Okay, so let's dive into it. So we have to prepare three items first. The first one is the Telegram bot, and then DeepSeek API, and also Search API to IO API. First of all, for Telegram, uh, we go to Telegram and search for bot father. And we are going to click um, type new bot. For example, we can call it um, YouTube to blog post bot. And then we can choose a username, um, for example, like testing um, YouTube blog post bot. And we can just copy this token, go back to NN. So we can add credential, search for Telegram API, continue, and then we can just paste it as this token. And remember, this is a Telegram account three, or you can name it in the way that you want, save it. Uh, I have already have one, so I don't need to save this for now. And then for the DeepSeek API, uh, we can go to DeepSeek.com, click SS API, and go to API keys, and you can just create a new API key and copy the API key. And go back to NAN. So um, what we can do here, um, let me show you. So for example, this one, it is a header header auth. You need to type authorization and then just paste the value here. Great. And then for the search API.io, we can go to search API.io here and then go to dashboard and just copy the API key. And in the um, note using YouTube transcript API, so we're going to paste it here. Okay, you can paste it under the field name called API underscore key. So that's the um, credential setup for the workflow. Okay, after setting up the credentials, um, we, let's dive into the workflow. So there are mainly five steps. First of all, is the Telegram trigger, which is here. And then uh, we're going to extract the uh, YouTube video ID from the Telegram message because we're going to um, input the uh, YouTube URL as a Telegram message. And then we need to extract it, uh, extract the video ID. Uh, because we need the video ID for the search API.io API to retrieve the video transcript. So this is the note. And then we're going to process the transcript via um, DeepSeek AI. And last but not least, we're going to generate and send the response, um, including the total cost, um, to back to um, Telegram. Okay, so let's get started. So for the Telegram trigger, so let's dive into it. Um, because uh, we have already set up the credentials, we can just choose the uh, credentials to connect with. For example, the account, uh, the, the Telegram account that I use is called Telegram account two. So you can just choose this and then trigger on message. So this is a note. 
and for the extract video ID. So this part, uh, we can just add a note. Uh, we can search for code. It's a custom, custom code. So you can just copy and paste this, this code to the custom note. And uh, I've already prepared a Google document. Um, you can just copy this part into your note. And then for the second part, which is the uh, video transcript, let me do this one first. Okay, for the uh, YouTube transcript API, uh, we are going to have uh, a TTP request, so you can just edit here. And then we are going to um, show the details inside. So none as the authentication, and we are going to use get request method. And then for U URL, we can use, uh, you can just copy and paste this. And then the response format is JSON. So there are a couple cur uh, query parameters. First of all, is engine. Uh, the value is YouTube uh, underscore transcript. You, just, you can just copy and paste it. And video ID, and then uh, copy and paste this value. Uh, language, English, transcript type, auto, API key. You can just copy and paste um, the API uh, key that uh, you have on your own uh, search API IO uh, search api.io dashboard so the node is completed and then we are going to create a node for telegram to send a non message and this is for um uh for getting the message that we have already got the transcript from um the search api io so you can just uh, set it by searching for uh, telegram here so you can pick um send uh you can pick send um uh, we can pick send a text message here great so um basically it's done for this part and then we are going to get the transcript um from uh deep seek ai so as we have already set up the credentials, we can just um, paste the link here first, this one, and then we choose generic credential type, um, header, we choose header auth because we have created the header auth um, for the credential of Dipsic AI, and then we can just pick it here. And we s uh, turn enable the send body part the body content type is JSON, and then use the JSON uh, as a using JSON as a uh, to specify the body. So for this part, we can just copy and paste this as well. I've already prepared it. Uh, you for um, and put it on the Google Doc here. So you can just copy and paste it and put it here. Put it here. Okay. So the part for this is done. Again, you can get this note by searching for HTTP requests and then just copy and paste the settings inside. And then for this one, um, we need to search for another note um, uh, code as well. So you can just uh, copy and paste uh, the code inside. So what, are, uh, what is the purpose for this note is to split um, the uh, block because um, there's a text limit for each message um, that the telegram can send. So we need to split the block into different paragraphs, and then we're going to show the total cost um, that uh, we have to use to turn the YouTube transcript into the block by Dipseek. So the total cost is the token cost charged by Dipseek API. So let's take a look at this. So the mode we choose is run once for all items, language we use uh, JavaScript. Again, uh, I've already uh, prepared the code for you. You can just copy and paste it. Copy from this, and then um, you can just paste it here. And after the last step is to send response. And of course, uh, we are using the Telegram account that we created at the beginning. And then the chat ID, uh, we we'll just copy and paste this. And then text, which will be the paragraph content. So um, it's all set. And that's how um, you can set up the whole workflow um, 
for using Telegram to send the YouTube URL and then using DeepSeek AI to turn the YouTube video into a blog post. It saves you a lot of time. So hope you enjoy this. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any question. See you next time.